Yo, what is up guys, UQ here. Welcome back to another episode of the Road to Supersonic Legends. I wanted to say thank you for all the support. It's been amazing. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and rate it a thumbs up. Type something in the comments, of course. Yeah, let me know some feedback. What do you think of this series so far? I mean, we're pretty close to Supersonic Legend, I would say. I mean, Grand Champ 2 already. Yeah, I hope we can reach it very fast. I mean, there's still gonna be a lot of episodes, don't worry guys, but we're very close to the rank already. I'm gonna try my best to give you guys tips again. With that being said, let's not waste more time. And let's get straight into the games. All right, so we're starting off with 1584 MMR, Grand Champ 2 Division 1. Let's get into the games. All right, game one. Got McDonald's in my team. <laughs> I'm on a diet though, so... Can't be doing that, I'm sorry. Sorry, teammate, you should find a different teammate. All right. Uh, teammate has zero boost, we're just gonna chill, leave the back boost for him. Stay back well because he stays ground. Okay, that was a pretty good Fibber set, but I was a bit confused. Like, I wanted to go on the ground and he should go on the backboard, but because I was there, he went on the ground and I went up. But yeah, pretty good Fibber set. Might have to start sweating more often, I guess, because now the games are going to be more exciting. Uh, got the demo here. Gonna go for an air dribble up. Try and recover. Okay, teammate took that boost. Now nah, I have to recover without any boost. Okay, good ball chase by him though. He just taps it forward. Comes it back, can read this. Take a boom on targets. They kind of panic, so we get the free goal. Oh, play it. Um, you didn't, technically didn't need to jump that early. I mean, the problem was their double commit there, so. Could have been, could have stayed on the ground if you were not really confident in the wall read, right? Don't need to jump that early. Okay, gets it over my teammate. We just try and cover the net. Interesting bomb play. Here we just chill. Cover the net angles at all times. That was an important part. Not just to rush out of net without a reason, really. Gonna be trying to be quick here. Even if I get a bad touch, I can just recover and beat him again, right? So it's it's okay. Okay, team had jumped. Okay. Oh no. I don't think my teammate had boost and he touched that. I was about to go for an air dribble. That's okay. Ooh, we got bumped. Put the ball close here. He actually challenged. That's very surprising. That's very I should have punished him. Just didn't expect that so. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so awkward. Like, so many bumps. It can't be that simple, right? Even if it's awkward. It was still a good challenge by my teammate and the other guy was just too close. When when you get games like that that are super awkward, like just try and like don't over complicate things, like just try to adapt really. Which is easier said than done, but just let him hit the ball more often, I guess. It's totally fine. Every, anything else will just make the game even more harder than it actually is. He'll just fake the touch because I know he's just gonna hit it in my corner. He has to stay grounded. I'm not sure what that quick chat was, but my teammate now nah, actually missed the ball because I was like, what? What does he want me to do? <laughs> Good pass. Oh, played. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was open. I should have just scored it, but. I'm not sure why they like spams take the shot or something. It's okay though. Three one already, by the way. It's looking pretty good. I I'm gonna stay a bit closer this time because like sometimes you gotta switch it up. I'm gonna take a boomer. Try and recover fast though. Just tap that. Okay, they pinched it. Stay in net. It's over the net, but I have to jump quick. Get a really good wall read. Teammate is somehow not ready. <laughs> yeah, should make a goal. Oh, I should have left it, I guess, for him now. Okay, is he gonna cut? He is. Nice, but it's super risky regardless. Like, that's why, like, someone's like ball chasing like that, it's not that useful. But here, I just tried to, like, block the angle of the net and just fake that I'm gonna touch it and just cover the net, really. So I hit it into the corner. Nice. Get a pretty good pass from a teammate, and then we get a pretty fast uh, boom on the backboard. And then we jump as soon as possible again. 
because he wasn't up yet. And I knew he was very awkward, so... I was going to be a free goal if, I, if I'm quick. Alright, I'm just going to take my time and just jump as late as possible. That was really important, by the way, because... Uh, we needed to make a touch that was not going to turn any awkward. I'm going to boom the ball here. Okay, I get dunk, but it should be... Oh, I was about to say it should be fine, but he actually got demos. We still get the save, but... Oh, that's a bit of an awkward clear. Try to not center the ball on clears, if you can. Because that was a bit awkward, like... If I had 12 last boost, it was going to be very difficult. Okay, so it was a pretty good shot. I'm going to drop the nice shot. Because that was pretty good, the placement. It was pretty open, but he just... Hit it top left. I like the confidence. It was a pretty good first game. Uh, again, sorry if I can't give too many tips. I mean, now the games are just starting to get more sweaty and if I see something I try to address it right like try to not clear the ball into the middle of the, the field like try to not like cut that much like how my team did a little bit but yeah I hope you guys still learn just by watching like what I do so you can see like what plays I also make I try to also like mind game a lot if you guys are paying attention like I stay grounded and stay in positions where I have the favor if that makes sense like I I cover things and like let them hit it, the ball into the corner for no reason and stuff like that. Like some little things like that can actually help you out a lot. So pay attention to that when I do that. So let's get into game two. All right, game two. He says thanks. Did we get the teammate? I don't. I don't remember. Was he perhaps a, an opponent or something? Or does he know me? Yeah, we went for the kickoff. Teammate goes next. He jumps super early, but technically, I could have seen that he missed. We just keep it close. Teammate wants to go in. Technically, that don't do that because I had the ball possession. But it seems like it's fine because he was somehow on the backboard. If this guy was not backboard, that would have been like very bad because he just gave up possession by jumping. They tried back right. I noticed that, so I tried to block it. Not sure if you guys are able to see that either. Oh, what a fake. Try to. Can't really risk that, I just wait because say there's no way I'm gonna risk that. Teammate like ball chases, but then you should just like give up the play already. That's something pretty important is like understanding like when the play is over and when it's just better to like leave. They both challenge that, this is kinda crazy. I'm just gonna tap it, but don't commit, like don't jump, like just stay grounded. Perfect. As you can see, we get the ball possession. Teammate goes in. Ah. It's a very awkward to leave the ball there in the corner. I'm just gonna stay behind the ball, like I can just fake it. Okay, so he just came into my spot for no reason, like he had to just stay in the net. This is why you have to stay behind your teammates and cover the net, guys. Don't expect something to happen. <laughs> this is a bit, uh, a bit of a weird goal, if I'm honest, but it's okay. Here he should leave. Okay. So we get like a teammate that doesn't understand when his teammate is in a favorite position. So it's a bit awkward to play with, in my opinion. Uh, always let the guy that is facing the ball hit the ball if it's possible. That was a really good fifth throw, by the way, by my teammate. But it's important to still address this topic, guys. Like, try to not like play like that, basically. It just doesn't make sense to hit the ball just to hit the ball. He should be covering the net, so if he doesn't, I have to cut. And it makes it super awkward, but we managed to get the block and get a free goal. But yeah, again, he should be the one going already, but he didn't, so I had to cut and jump. And hope for a block, but it made it like 10 times more difficult for me because I had no boost. Right? I can stay here and just beat him. Alright, since they're going back, we can still a boost as well. Um, I'm just gonna be waiting here, like just pay it, play it patiently. Just cover the net here again. Cover the net. He goes for mid boost. I uh, actually got baited in here. It's pretty hard. So we just try and read the mid pass. It's a bit obvious. Like when they when they're on the wall, they're trying to mid pass all the time. I think that's the most they can do if they're playing it fast. And there's the forfeit already. Uh, honestly, a very awkward game, but we get the W. So. As you can see, it is definitely possible to get it, even if you have an awkward teammate. Uh, we get a division up as well, and we also diamond from the season rewards. 
You lost last game, get over it. It's some pixels. <laughs> okay. You did it on purpose. Okay, so they're just randomly beefing, I guess? Interesting. Right, I'm just gonna... Still report it. He reported him. What? Whatever, we're going into game three. Alright, we're in the last game of today's episode. Hopefully we can get the W as well. We're still on the 100% win rate, by the way, guys. Which is totally insane. I can't reach that. He goes for the corners. We just leave, really. Unfortunate that we couldn't reach it. It's a bit of a pretty weird situation to be in off the kickoff. Try and boom that on net. Can't. Try to, like, follow them, but only to demo them. If you're fast enough and they're not expecting it, this is a really good situation, in, especially in twos. Where you just follow the the play, but you you only can do that when you have when you're fast. Nice, we bait him in here. The reset. <laughs> yeah, my team didn't read it. I mean, maybe I shouldn't even go for a flip reset to be fair. But my team is positioning like way too close under. Like he wants to over, like. He wants to score every single chance and as fast as possible, like as going as close as possible to the net. But if you think about it, think about it as your nose covering stuff. Like the further back you are, the more you can go into the play. So like here, I can go into the play and hit the ball forward and I can actually get a double tap as you can see. That's the difference. Like if you go too close, the ball gets like you can't hit the ball with your nose, right? You can't hit the ball with momentum. So that's what my teammate is doing was doing wrong there like when there's a backboard thing you don't want to go too close because then you won't be able to shoot on that right and you will not cover good options all right we just stay here close behind the ball like if you challenge that's fine we just single jump try to recover 50 again that's totally fine okay we're gonna leave that for our teammate now because it seems like he wants to go in really badly or he's just confused i don't really know what the difference is we just have to cover the net tap it to the corner Make sure we get the boost and again cover the nets. He seems a little bit out of place. We just, but we stay ground because like if he goes again, that's perfect. It's now we're in a one v one. He just turns and challenges, and that should be a goal. Nice. Okay, as you can see, I knew that the guy was super awkward and had no boost, so I let him beat me again. Like it's totally fine if he beats me if there's no real purpose behind his beat, right? Even if my team is behind me as well, even perfect, more perfect. Ooh, that might be... Oh, okay, lucky. I wanted to pre-flip into that. Here we just go behind our teammates. Stay slowly, maybe, but like, we just... We don't go too close into this play. Nice. So we give our teammate time to recover. And we are safe in this situation, really. Nice. Yeah, the opponent are doing this wrong, that they just constantly commit for a play. Like, again, this rude little guy. Here, he just goes in all in, tries to shoot. Way too risky. More patient. And, <laughs> and it should be some good situation coming out. Just shoot that, nice. Yeah, he just ball chased at me when I... He never ex he never really respected the fact that I could shoot on that here, which is kind of crazy. Like, I don't understand why he would not... If he goes for mid for a corner boost and the ball kills and I'm following up, like should be kind of obvious that I can shoot on that, right? Here, just cover the angle and time my 50. Uh, a bit more difficult than it looks like. We have to just time. Uh, I'm gonna fake here. Nice. Alexander touched it. So I'm gonna try and beat him here. He gets a demo on me, but it's fine. We get the possession on his corner. I'm just totally fine because now my teammate challenges. Hopefully, forces his flick. And we should be in a good spot, technically. Yeah. We just beat him. Should be open, technically, if my team can get it. Alright, we're gonna play it more patiently. I think I could have gone in. Take a boomer. Almost in again. Try and steal his boost. It's more... Uh, it's a better option. Now they are low on boost and... Should be very awkward. Technically, if I take a shot here, it should be a goal, but... But it's not easy to get a shot from. Get the demo on him. Take the boost. Try and demo this guy as well. Bump him as well. 
Okay, that's a bit uh, YOLO now. <laughs> and the bomb, perfect. Okay, that's troll. That was basically troll by me. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Side flip to dodge him. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Nice. I had to recover super fast because otherwise he was gonna get a shot. Okay, he's gonna boom the ball here probably. Alright, he don't jump, never jump, like just wait. See? Now we can go. Perfect. That's what I want you guys to do. Don't jump for that. I'm not sure how to explain the reason, but you're last man, you have to waste time, basically. Now, boom the ball as hard as you can forward. Teammate is up. Just kind of makes it super awkward. Now I have to just get a control touch. Keep it, stay behind the ball. Oh. Well, maybe I could have flipped as well. I mean, we get the goal regardless, but. You know, I was just giving you guys like an example. Like, you always have to try and like stay behind the ball. So if he comes, it's totally fine. But yeah, pretty good episode, I'd say. Progress is looking kind of good. Uh, sadly, we're still Division 2, so it's going to be taking a little bit longer to get Grand Champ 3, but, you know, I hope you guys learn a lot from the series. Try my best to give as many tips as I can, but, you know, sometimes it gets repetitive. I'm trying my best to, like, say why something is important in the moment as good as I can. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe. It will help me out a lot. Just keep supporting, type something in the comments, rate it with thumbs up, everything. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next episode. Peace.